So we were in the middle of trying to film something where we showed off the uh, benchmarks that we ran for Far Cry 3 where we had a GeForce versus Radeon showdown. Hold on, nope, you're going the wrong way. When we were using this monitor to showcase the graphs and I was like, slick. Uh, you gotta, you gotta use like a, a more, um, a more obvious, like a darker blue on the graphs because you can't really see it on the monitor. So here, this is the angle that I was looking at it from. I was like, yeah, these aren't going to show up. How are we going to show people what the graphs look like? And then I got down to eye level with it, and I was like, oh, okay, that is a perfectly acceptable blue. So the issue appears to be the TN panel having such horrendous uh, viewing angles that it was pretty much unusable. So just for lols, we took an IPS panel. This is an, a ProArt monitor. So for contrast, this is a 120 hertz TN, which is about the worst case scenario for a TN in terms of color accuracy and viewing angles because of the way that they have to overclock the panels in order to get them to respond so quickly. And then this is a color calibrated 60 hertz IPS, which is pretty much the other end of the spectrum. So we'd love to get some different angles on here. So Slick, come on over here and get them from sort of the side. So you can see that what is supposed to be down, 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 what is supposed to be blue actually appears to be brown. And, um, and uh, yeah, I mean, the difference is so, is so stark. Even going from sort of like a viewing spot of about here to about here, that, that there's a noticeable, noticeable difference if you're not looking exactly straight on with the, uh, with the TN panel. So, you know, guys, if you don't believe what I say about how TN panels are for color reproduction as well as viewing angle, just so inferior to their, to their PLS, uh, IPS and VA counterparts. Hopefully this is a bit of an illustration for you of what would be a worst case scenario. So what is a TN panel like this good for? Couple things. Number one is 3D. You cannot run 3D unless you can get 120 hertz uh, refresh rates and unless you have a fast enough response time to prevent any motion blur or uh, not motion blur. Well, motion blur as well because that can wreak havoc on 3D gaming. Um, as well as crosstalk between the left and right stereo images. So you have to have a super fast panel. The other thing that a fast panel is good for is 2D, well, okay, 3D gaming, but not stereo 3D gaming, where you need that, you need that responsiveness from the monitor. You want to have that extra edge compared to someone else who's using a 60 hertz monitor because it will actually show you the image faster. So if you're playing Twitch games where you need every last millisecond, then this would be useful. And if you're running in stereo 3D, then this would be useful. Otherwise, do yourself a big, huge favor and uh, get an IPS, VA, or PLS panel because I think you guys have seen what the contrast between these technologies looks like. Again, a very extreme sort of version of it. Thanks for watching Linus Tech Tips, and don't forget to subscribe, as always, for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.